What's up everybody? It is the first day of spring and things are starting to change around here. I want to take you for a quick walk around the lawn, see what's happening, talk a little bit about what the springtime is going to look like here, maybe make some speculations on when it's going to get started, what all projects are planned, and you know, general fun having. Let's get into it. So we might as well start down here first, the putting green. The putting green is going to be taking a significant amount of my time this year. And as you can see, it's still covered in snow. Now it maintained pretty much for the whole year. I don't think there was a time where it had less than a foot of snow on it. So it's been covered up. There's still almost a foot right over here. So that's gonna take just a little bit longer to get melted down, but it's supposed to be really warm this weekend. So this could all be gone. I hope so, because this is still gonna take a little bit of, you know, some overseeding and patching and some more leveling and some more top dressing. And it's gonna take a little while to get this thing fully up to snuff, but it looks like from what I can see, it's fine, it's healthy. There's nothing going on with snow mold that I can see yet. So I think we're gonna be okay here, but I still have some patches and some repairs and you know, the deer were up here and things like that. So there's definitely some things that are gonna to have to be done. And I can see even now that we have had some sort of settling and pushes that are gonna require just a little bit of work in here. Ah well, that's gonna be project number one. Number two is this right behind me. I didn't get to this last year and I'm kind of bummed out about that. But this whole section here still needs to be filled in. This whole level has to be brought up through here, all along this edge. I've gotta finish this whole thing out, bring some rock in, bring some more soil in. These sprinkler heads are still gonna get moved. All of this stuff is gonna be buried under six, seven inches of soil. And then this whole area here will have a little chip in section. So we'll be doing some spring seeding on that. Likely it'll all be rye. Haven't fully decided, but I think that's what we're gonna be doing here. And again, depending on the weather, it's still a little bit early here. We've, I'm sure are going to still have some storms coming, but I wanna get started on this as soon as I possibly can. Let's go up to the main yard. So you see that? There is snow mold all through here for sure. Now, if you recall, you can take a click up here. I did a whole thing on uh, putting out propiconazole. I did that on the golf green. I did not do it up here because I wanted to see if I could actually have a good distinction between the two. Like maybe it wasn't going to be bad this year, maybe it was. Well, it does turn out that it is pretty much everywhere through here. No big deal. It's unsightly more than anything else but it keeps me from having to do anything extra out front here on the golf green. And that's why I wanted to, to do that. Overall, aside from the deer being up here an awful lot, there wasn't much traffic up on the lawn. This area here is going to take quite some time to melt. This is the north side of the hill. It just is going to pile snow and sit. So, you know, we've still got a little time before I can get up here and mow or do anything like that. There'll be plenty of prep work beforehand. You can see the deer, the deer have been up here. Great, who cares? Tons of snow mold though. Just tons of it all through, all through here. It's, it's pretty much everywhere. So I am super happy that I did do that application and uh, you know, get everything dialed in down on the green so I'm not really having to deal with that or have any sort of slowed down growth since I'm gonna be trying to push that thing pretty hard. As far as the rest of the turf, I actually think just because the temperatures have been what they are, uh, I'm seeing more green, more and more green every day. Look at this. It's actually pretty warm right here, oddly enough. Good section of sun coming across here that kind of gets on it all day. But again, snow from the roof. We'll see what that turf looks like, you know, probably still a couple weeks, I'd guess, before that really goes away. It could be longer. We'll see. We'll see kind of how that goes. But overall, um, I can feel a little bit of bumpiness in the ground. Like, you know, I might have to do a little bit of leveling and things through here, but you know, that sort of checkerboard pattern that I had last year, that's gone. Um, and you know, maybe possibly we'll see a little bit of that as everything comes out of dormancy, but I don't think so. I think we're beyond that, but there's definitely some downhill shifting. I can kind of see where it looks like things just sort of settled in a little bit, even through here, 
there's just some sort of rise and falls that weren't here in the fall. So with this winter, definitely had some frost heave, definitely had some changes to the way the contours are. And that's, again, one of the reasons that I really didn't want to go ahead and kind of waste my time leveling this place out last year. Congratulations, you've won a sand leveling video. Knowing that I was going to have those things happen. All of these rock walls had to settle in. Everything kind of had to find its place. Everything around the trampoline, you know, all of this had to just sort of get to where it was. And no, I forgot to take the mat off before the first snow. So animals probably walked across that. We'll, we'll see what that looks like. But anyhow, it's exciting. It's exciting. It's the first day of spring. It's killer. And even though the snow is still up there and it's awesome and the skiing's great. And if you're coming to Park City anytime in the next couple of weeks, look me up. I'll go ski with you. It'll be great. Um, we're, we're almost there. We are almost there. So let's talk about what's the plan. Well, I've got to kind of take things in here one step at a time. I am going to feed everything. As soon as I can get up here, I might do one scrape through it with the Sun Joe, clean up whatever might be in there and then feed it because I really didn't feed it last year. I kind of kept this thing very lean as I was establishing the turf, which might be a little bit opposite of what most would do, but it really worked out well. Roots are deep, it's, it's ready to go. So we'll get this thing fed and moving. And same down here is I really wanna push this green hard as soon as I can. I am gonna get this thing fed, maybe even overfed for a little bit, and then start bringing in sand and get my greens mix back in here so that I can have this thing super buffed out by the time you know, say June 1st comes along. That's really gonna be the goal here. I wished it would have made it a little further last year, but I definitely came in late. So, you know, you sort of take what you can get. But straight out of the gate, 2600 is gonna be going on all of this and RGS right out. And then I'm actually gonna start this on a weekly regimen. That's gonna be a mix between green charge, green pop, and maybe a few other things that you guys are gonna get excited to see so that I can get this thing just decked out. Anyway, happy spring. Hey, leave a comment down below about what you guys are excited for about this spring, what you're going to be doing for your first applications this year. Maybe you've already done it. And uh, I'm going to go back inside because it's whew, still a little, a little chilly. Talk to you guys real soon. See ya.